Uh, you know, I enjoy very much. It's a very fine orchestra, very professional, uh, materializing and realizing quick uh, what is requested. They have no, they have no problems with any request. They can do everything. The same is with the choir. When you come first time to an orchestra, it's not that you are um, consciously or purposely uh, having a plan. You have to feel. You have to feel um, the um, the key to the particular orchestra and also uh, which could be very different you feel whether the orchestra is in good hands whether it's trained by its music director and that you feel quite soon by the interest which people uh, show to certain details or to certain ways to do or to play and uh, you can hear that this orchestra is um, is well trained in good uh, good taken care of and, and it, it means the um, that the mind is is uh, in good tune on the, and rightly tuned the two pieces by Stravinsky are um, absolutely from a different time and different task artistic task because of course the the scherzo alla russe is uh, committed to the ballet and to the to the russian the stravinsky russian style of of those modernist uh, russian uh, painters which jagilev wanted for his work to work with his company and then uh, the oedipus rex which is together from the Psalm Symphony, from a new period of, Tra of Stravinsky where he became interested in the West European liturgic music. Also, it is a it is an antique drama. It is not a Psalm Symphony. It's a liturgic piece. Uh, Oedipus Rex, not. It is a Sophocles drama. But still, the 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 elements of treatment of the choir there are some uh, similarities also I think you, you can feel very much that Cocteau and especially Stravinsky was interested to follow an idea how the antique theater with the antique choir, chorus might, might have been. The last piano concerto as we all know the fifth is the outburst and uh, written still in an immigration in the West. It has some humorous um, hidden aspects and also some, um, you know, some things which you will find in later ballets of um, Prokofiev like Romeo and Julia and Cinderella, the uh, Arlequinesque or clownesque figures. That is in this concerto too. Uh, of course, I hear them also harmonically, elements of the Scythian suite quite early, world, which is wild, archaic. Uh, so you have, actually, you have plenty of different Prokofiev's, which you can find before the fifth piano concerto, but also after.